When it comes to future military technology, researchers and developers of military equipment strive to create advanced devices that will deliver the cutting edge on the battlefield. There are many different top secret weapons, vehicles and aircraft that are currently being developed. Sometimes we get a glimpse of these weapons of war, but most of the time it's impossible to see what's been on the drawing board until the concept is ready for testing. Join us now as we take a look at some of the top secret future military prototypes that could be created soon. The Bell 360 Invictus Built to complement and replace the AH-64D Apache attack helicopter, the Bell 360 Invictus combines impressive agility and lethality with a modular open systems approach. The future attack reconnaissance aircraft will provide security and battlefield situational awareness until the fight is finished. When the United States Army laid out the requirements for this helicopter, designers knew they had to use all of the cutting-edge technology available to them. One of those requirements is an aircraft that can cruise at speeds in excess of 205 miles per hour. This helicopter was built with the ability to dash when it needs to and has a low-drag tandem cockpit, which helps it to be a much smaller target to acquire. It features an articulated rotor head design that delivers greater speeds and the high-speed rotor blade design mitigates retreating blade stall. It also has lift sharing wings, which reduce the rotor lift demand in forward flight, giving it high-speed maneuverability. Its lethality is improved, utilizing internal and external weapons, including a 20mm cannon and integrated munitions launcher. A fully digital fly-by-wire flight control system is built with the latest technology and offers advanced performance and autonomous flight. A first design Invictus was recently unveiled in October 2019 and is being slated for test flights in 2022. Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider Many of you have probably already seen the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. An American heavy strategic bomber that features low observable stealth technology, making it possible to penetrate dense anti-aircraft defense. While it might seem like a new aircraft with its highly futuristic stealth design, this aircraft was in production from 1987 to 2000 and was introduced on January 1st, 1997. And there are currently 20 of these flying wings in operation. Eventually, these aircraft will need to be replaced. So enter the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider. Renderings of this aircraft show that it's very close in design to the B-2, but the B-21 belongs to the Long Range Strike Bomber Program and will be a very long range stealth strategic bomber for the United States Air Force, capable of delivering conventional and thermonuclear weapons. The biggest surprise is that the US Air Force had initial plans of putting 80 to 100 of these aircraft in the skies but there could be as many as 175 to 200 in service eventually and initial operating capability by the year 2030. Details of this aircraft are very top secret. The only things that are known about the aircraft are that the companies that were chosen to design and build it, including Pratt & Whitney, meaning that it will likely have the F-135 afterburning turbofan engine and that it will be designed from the start with an open systems architecture. Even the cost of the aircraft has not been released because it would reveal too much information about this classified project and alert potential adversaries. But there are other secrets to this program as well, and it was determined that the U.S. Air Force is planning to acquire a new long-range fighter known as the Penetrating Counter Air. This new aircraft would accompany the B-21 Raider deep into enemy territory. There are very little details known about this fighter, but chances are good that it could be something like the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk, which was retired on April 22, 2008. Only time will tell when we will see these two new aircraft in the skies, and they could be unlike anything we've ever seen. Ilyushin IL-106 PAK-VTA Not to be confused with the cancelled Ilyushin IL-106 of the 90s, even though this is a new aircraft and it is heavily based on that design. The Ilyushin IL-106 PAK VTA is a super heavy transport plane design that doesn't sound so cool or futuristic until you understand that its primary goal is to be able to fly at supersonic speed 
or speeds that exceed Mach 1 while carrying 200 tons of cargo and partially uses renewable electric energy. This aircraft is currently deep in development and will be updated with new avionics, engines, and other critical systems that they are keeping secret. There really isn't much more information available other than the PAC VTA appears aimed at freeing the Russian forces heavy airlift missions from dependence upon the Ukrainian built AN-124. This aircraft is absolutely huge and could possibly do the job. However, because of current relations, Russia wants nothing to do with Ukraine. There are many images of the Ilyushin IL-106 PAC VTA floating around online and could give us an idea of what this aircraft could end up looking like, although some of those photos look really cool. It could be likely that the new PAC VTA will look something similar to the Ilyushin IL-80, but only time will tell. FA-XX it would seem that speed and range are important things when it comes to fighter jets, and the U.S. Navy is trying to figure out how to best replace the Super Hornet and Growler aircraft, which is derived from the F-18 Super Hornet. For those who aren't familiar with this aircraft, the F-A-18EF Super Hornet is a twin-engine, carrier-capable, multi-role fighter based on the original McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet. The F-A-18E is a single seat, and the F-A-18F is a tandem seat variant. They are equipped with an internal 20mm M61 rotary cannon and can carry air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-surface munitions. The Super Hornet flew first in 1995 and replaced the Grumman F-14 Tomcat. But technology is changing, and the United States Navy needs an aircraft that can operate in a post-2030 threat environment. At the same time, the Navy remains skeptical of the F-35C, which is currently the only aircraft that might meet most of its requirements during that era. It's worthwhile to point out that whatever the FAXX might be, it will certainly have sixth-generation fighter jet capabilities. Future security systems will be dominated by advanced surface-to-air missiles, like the S-300 and S-400, and the U.S. Navy will only have a handful of stealthy Lockheed Martin F-35C Lightning II Joint Strike Fighters on the carrier flight deck in the 2030s. So what would the FAXX look like? There really is no telling, since it's currently just a dream on a piece of paper. But Boeing has been contracted to modernize the U.S. Navy's F-A-18 fleet with the Super Hornet Block III. The Block III has five new systems, including conformal fuel tanks, which reduce drag and increase the fighter's range while at the same time removing the wing tanks and pylons, giving the fighter better performance and advanced computer systems. Perhaps the new FAXX will simply be a super, super hornet. The GX-VT program. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, has introduced what is calling the Ground X vehicle technologies, which aims to improve mobility survivability, safety, and the effectiveness of future combat vehicles without having to pack on a lot of armor. In this program, several Phase II contract awardees recently demonstrated advances in a variety of groundbreaking technologies. One of those technologies was buttoning up the cockpit and using augmented virtual reality to pilot the vehicle. Augmenting natural experience fuses data from multiple vehicle-mounted video cameras to create a real-time 3D model of the vehicle and its nearby surroundings. In a final phase of a demonstration, drivers and commanders in a windowless recreational vehicle successfully switched among multiple virtual perspectives to accurately maneuver the vehicle and detect targets of interest during both low and high-speed travel. This augmentation also provides real-time situational awareness using onboard path planning and gives the driver the safest and fastest route on the way to their objective. Vehicles outfitted with this system could even drive themselves. The other goal of the program is having future combat vehicles that could traverse up to 95% of off-road terrain using revolutionary wheel-to-track and suspension technologies, enabling faster travel both on and off-road. These technologies also include reconfigurable wheel tracks, electric in-hub motors inside the wheels, and multi-mode extreme travel suspension. DARPA says that it's excited with the program's results so far, 
and it will be interesting to see what vehicles they come up with. Boeing MQ-25 Stingray The Boeing MQ-25 Stingray is an aerial refueling drone, but the interesting thing about this aircraft is that it's supposed to be an aircraft carrier-based UAV, utilizing a stealthy strike platform. Now, the MQ-25 is a robotic fueling option for manned jet fighters flying from U.S. Navy aircraft carriers, such as the previously mentioned Boeing-built F-A-18 Super Hornet and Lockheed's Martin F-35C Lightning II. Imagine being a pilot and having a robotic drone fuel your jet fighter. This drone is capable of delivering up to 15,000 pounds of fuel to aircraft flying over 500 nautical miles away from their carriers. This would give jet fighters another three to 400 miles of flight range. Beyond their fuel delivery capabilities, MQ-25s are rumored to have a secondary intelligence, surveillance, and a reconnaissance role, and also carry radar from maritime operations in support of the main fleet. The first drone, called the T-1, took its first flight in September of 2019, and it will be the model aircraft to the $805 million project. However, the U.S. Navy expects to acquire as many as 72 aircraft at an estimated cost of $13 billion. With the induction of the Stingray into its ranks, the United States Navy plans to retain its deep inventory of F-A-18 Super Hornets and the newly arriving F-35 Lightning IIs for strike roles and no longer rely on manned aerial tankers. We hope you enjoyed the video. We want to know which one of these future technologies interested you the most. Please tell us in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video is released. Thanks for watching.